Exciting news for Microsoft Surface Duo and Duo 2 owners, we now have Android 12L. Yes, Android 12L is available. No more Android 11, move over into the sunshine and get the new version for your phone. I'm actually really excited about this. I've already got it on my phone. I wish I still had an original Duo so I could test it out on that. So if any of you viewers out there, download it for your Surface Duo. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. I'd love to hear what your experience is like. Is it finally making the original Duo experience fantastic and amazing? Or is it still kind of laggy and janky and all the problems we used to deal with a long time ago? But I've heard a lot of good things, especially since they got Android 11. So I'm hoping this is pretty good. But I've been using it the last couple of days now on my Surface Duo 2. I got it set up and there's quite a few differences that you can notice here. It, it's not just a shift over from Android 11 to Android 12. It's a change from Android 11 to 12L, which is designed for different unconventional screen formats available for like tablets is better for multitasking productivity and things like that so there's been a lot of different changes that we have available on the phone now so they've added stuff the official change log upgrades the android operating system to 12l for foldable devices it's got a new fluent ui redesigned quick settings and settings refresh microsoft feed design new acrylic system effects Windows accent color styles and dynamic theming on chosen wallpaper, new Windows inspired wallpaper, a pen menu for the Surface Pen Slim 2, transfer Microsoft Teams meetings through the time widget, optimization for battery usage and performance for Microsoft Teams through hardware offloading. There's a lot of changes really that are underneath the surface that you might not necessarily notice on a day-to-day -day basis. But with the changes to the UI, I, I could tell just right off the bat as soon as setting it up, the animations are changed, it's smoother, it flows really, really well. It seems more responsive. And that's probably the best thing that I can say about it. It seems like basically a fresh start when it comes to the operating system on this phone. Not that it wasn't good, not that it wasn't proficient, not that they have been updating it, because of course they have. But when you talk about the new 12L, the design feels really sharp, really smart and quick. And I like that. Like It really feels like a new device almost. So really cool there. I'm looking forward to messing with it some more. But this just goes to continue to show you that Microsoft is not giving up on this phone. They're not giving up on the original one. And that's something I was really worried about once they pushed it out and then basically it was dead on arrival. It took them forever to really commit to actually start updating stuff on there and getting it fixed. It was like six months before it was even largely usable, at least from my opinion. What they, you could tell they wrote it off. Like you could tell that once it came out, they were already working on the Duo 2. And that's something that kind of shunted, I think, the progress and the development of the original Duo. But then it's like out of nowhere, they decided once they launched Android 11 and the Duo 2, that they were going to put it up and get it on the same speed and keep updating it. So they've been very good with software updates, very good with security patches. They've been doing process updates, refinements, feature improvements, all sorts of things. And they made a lot of updates and changes to the cameras, especially when it comes to the Duo 2. So this just reaffirms and shows their commitment for the devices. And also you can see there hasn't been a Duo 3. There hasn't even been any talk about it. I think it's good and it shows that Microsoft is really committed to this device. They want to give you the best experience possible, show you that they're not going to ditch it and get rid of it. And then moving forward, as we get to the Duo 3, if that's what they're going to call it, and hopefully we'll get some, hopefully we'll start seeing stuff about that in the spring so we can have some, some excitement to look forward to in the fall. I've had the Duo 1. I love my Duo 2. I like the changes. I like the updates. And I'm really excited moving forward, looking at what we're going to get for the rest of the year, going into the next year, and then what we might see with the Duo 3. I think a two-year release cycle is really, really fair for these products because when they first come out, it's like it needs a couple of months, even that first year, to really mature and to get all the stuff online and to feel like a complete device. The Duo 2, it felt a lot better. There was a lot of changes, a lot of things that they fixed from the Duo 1 to the Duo 2. I thought it was probably just about the most improved phone of last year when it came out. And then it's just gotten better and better. And you see, you get the monthly updates. We keep getting the, the process updates. We keep getting the refinements. We keep getting the feature fixes. All sorts of things that they've really put into the phone. I think it goes a long way with reestablishing their credibility and showing their commitment that they're not just one and done, not leaving the space, not like Google did with Stadia and kicked it to the curb. I think they're here to stay. And I think this form factor is here to stay, which I really appreciate because I like it a lot. And I got to say, even the haptic feedback feels really sharp on this. It felt good before, but 
it feels like they've taken some of the lag out of the keyboard when you're typing on it too. So I like that. I'm really interested in getting to explore this some more and to continue to test it out. Got my SIM card in here. I've had my SIM card in here since I bought it. This is one of my devices I always have a SIM card in because it's my favorite companion device. Of course, you can use it as a regular one. And I just set up my new Tick Watch with it as well. So I'm going to test that out with it and see how that works out. So lots of cool things. Lots, lots of excitement if you're a Microsoft Surface Duo fan. And that's all. Just wanted to bring this update to you, let you know. If you haven't got it, go into your system settings and download it and update it. Should be available. It's available for the Duo 2 and also the regular Duo. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. Sound off. I'm curious to see what you guys and gals think about Android 12 L. But that's all I've got. So if you have any questions or comments, and please go to the comment sections. I'll get back with you. We can talk about it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.